Good afternoon. Welcome to this uh, faculty development program. I was asked by, by the organizers to speak and uh, deliver a lecture on the Indian economy and its industry in a particular context. Though most of the talks, writings are much more concentrating on a particular event or a phenomenon as if that a particular event has made some sort of a greater impact. I would rather like to put it in terms of how in the life cycle of an individual or maybe a society or maybe a nation or a globe in that manner, there are several upheavals, ups and downs. It is just an event and then there is an opportunity. I would rather put it as opportunities for Indian economy and industry in the present scenario. I wouldn't call that particular phrase in the uh, talk. By saying so, we will be giving a lot of credit, one to the virus, two to the creator, three, the kind of response that the whole globe has with fear has been addressed. Let us try to see it from the positive dimension in terms of how this has given us an opportunity to see it from a different angle altogether. An opportunity for us to rethink about our own existence. An opportunity for us to relook at the way we have been addressing ourselves, responding to the nature, placing ourselves in the larger system, the whole mother, earth, going beyond that in terms of the universe, the cosmos. As individuals, we would not even be visible or you would not even find some sort of uh, entity in terms of those kind of things. But still, if you reduce it to some sort of a light or maybe some sort of a soul or maybe some sort of an element of an energy, then it matters a lot in terms of look at the stars and then each star is like a soul which all of us do represent or that is where we see also. That's how our grandparents have told us that we can link ourselves to the stars kind of thing. Coming back to the realities in terms of the Indian economy, I would rather put it as in terms of a major opportunity that we have got to rethink in terms of which was erased for again a different context in the period of colonization, prior to colonization and other things. How Indian society or as Indian subcontinent had a different vision altogether and it was thriving with full vigor and also lots of support systems which was being praised in the contemporary period in that particular time frame that this system was much well established, evolved, much more scientific, addressing different systems in a different manner. Altogether. There are several theories in terms of how uh, the colonization has made us to think only in the way we have to think. Much of the thoughts are so Eurocentric that everything has to be seen only from the perspectives of the European thought. The Indian thought has been slowly, slowly erased in that sense. The Indian philosophy has gone. Indian ideology has gone. The whole Indianness, rather I would put it as Bharatiyata itself is gone in that sense. So we are all people of Bharat or India in that sense. Though they are not synonymous. We need to look at from that particular perspective in terms of where do we belong to, where are our, are our deep roots and how do we try to see it from the perspective of uh, some sort of a, uh, an element of our foundation. Have we forgotten to create the way our ancestors have created in the society? Have we stopped producing new ideas and new thoughts? Or have we started only putting India 
behind all the phrases an indian perspective kind of a thing global economy indian economy and then other economy so other industry other countries industry and then becomes indian industry is it just an indian as a phrase being used to communicate or to think or maybe contextualize kind of a thing or do we have a different game plan or different structure altogether or we have some sort of a different gamut altogether to understand and then address the whole globe so the very concept of indianness i would rather put it as our ownness indianness is many a time missing in terms of our own perspectives of looking at this whole indian economy and then indian industry india as a nation and also in terms of as a culture is so vast that diversity is filled in with that and we need not go for globalization in that sense in fact india itself is one globe with so much of diversity is looking at the uh, geographical space of each state represents some sort of a country in europe or some other countries so we are vast not only in terms of geographical space not only in terms of cultural space in terms of food or in terms of language dialects creativity rather i would put more stress on that than in terms of just being assumed or mathematical explanations given to us in the name of economics the production and again the consumption kind of a thing demand and then the supply kind of a thing people need to be managed kind of a thing a society that exists in terms of these things now much of these things needs to be integratedly understood from a holistic point of view not only from a particular discipline oriented point of view india never had kind of this kind of bifurcations or our thought process did not had some sort of compartments as we now try to see in terms of how the knowledge needs to be understood though over a period of time we try to specialize in a particular stream but then it has to have some sort of a web connections so that every element of knowledge every element of our livelihood every element of our life itself is so integrated like a web it is networked and that network aspect is much more missing in the present scenario of understanding how the india as a nation or probably indian economy as a big institution or probably big larger structure needs to be understood i am not talking from a perspective in terms of uh, indian products kind of a thing there are many products which has an indianness but there are many products which have been sold in the name of india but again the indianness is missing now how do we try to understand this particular concept of bharatiyata avas which is much more deep rooted in our culture that can be visualized in terms of understanding this particular perspective why are we talking of so much of indianness or bharatiyata that too in a particular context when i say it's an opportunity for us to look at things in a different perspective altogether we have never questioned the european thought the philosophy the knowledge system or the theories that have emerged in the europe what about the indian philosophy what about the indian theories indian concepts and indian knowledge systems which have evolved over a period of time much more here in our own space and also in our own time frame in terms of the earlier period that was much more relevant in terms of both time and space at the same time it was much more contextual rather than a contextual which comes from the west or an european perspective in that sense simple questions i would like to raise here in terms of why is it that there are only fathers of disciplines who is a father of economics who is a father of history who is a father of sociology who is a father of zoology who is a father of physics who is a father of chemistry who is a father of why only there are fathers and not mothers in the law of nature the creation is much more with the mother and not the father is it because the seed that matters the idea of that particular thing that matters does it mean that only men had that kind of an idea and women never had that idea or is it that all the men have borrowed stolen or maybe 
snatched away the ideas from the women and then taken the whole credit of men so it is one is androcentric because all the fathers are from europe another thing is much more androcentric that is everything is only father no mothers now this raises lots of questions in terms of knowledge did not have a particular locale that the knowledge has to emerge only here like a stream of water should only emerge here nature has given such a way that the water stream can emerge anywhere if not water at least oil in gulf countries in some other place it could be some other mineral so nature has distributed it it is available in abundance in scattered forms rather than in a concentrated form in one place now first if we try to reduce this particular centric approach to any systems of knowledge or practice or any of these things then we will be able to analyze that can we now add something to the existing knowledge or practice or any of this kind of this systems so i would rather now try to see in terms of how we have closed most of our approaches or boundaries to think have we been told not to think or have we been not been trained to think one is not to think because the syllabus tells you only to think what is there in the syllabus pattern another thing is not to think because we are so busy in terms of only mugging up and again by hearting and again reproducing the same thing in the examination system only that is being assessed and not the creativity what else that you can do the else something more beyond this has not been told to us the creativity does not confine only to in terms of now the way the school systems craft bring the stationary items and again put it not the child but again the parents have to do this kind of things that's not the creativity that i'm talking about think out of the box of any situation could be production of a food itself or maybe production of the agricultural product itself or maybe the industries in terms of the new idea itself all the things needs to be done from a different perspective altogether so taking this particular aspect and again raising several questions of uh, eurocentric androcentric kind of a thing and again not allowing our own self to project in terms of our knowledge and various other things the creativity he is missing in most of our things or which was there is now being snubbed or probably it is not allowed to nurture it further in terms of do i have the creativity can you do all those kind of things so structures are been created in every sense and that kind of a structure is reproduced over a period of time could be theory or it could be uh, film or it could be uh, music or it could be food now this, in the name of globalization everything that we move to we google around and then you get the same thing if not in our own place probably across the globe and again you get every information getting exchanged over a period of time in the name of globalization everything is getting exchanged now the amount of creativity may be there available in terms of different technologies which was absent earlier i wouldn't say that everything was available earlier some of them were available or probably some of them were in different forms or if we have there has been a creativity have we added those values to the creativity that is my question as a faculty development program i would raise these questions because these questions have been asked in the classroom by the students and again many times we have not allowed the student to be complete his question because we did not know as teachers the answers and again we have snubbed them you are an idiot please keep quiet or at least snub them by giving some sort of bashings and again saying that don't ask silly questions kind of thing or ridiculing him in the class don't do that other allow the kind of questions that is being raised be it the last bench doesn't matter whether it comes from the first bench last bench is much more creative though mischievous remove the mischievity because that is the essence of some sort of life but again the element of creativity if you can just only nurture in that particular dimension we will have ample space to think and again reproduce reduce the reproduction and again create more in the name of production of new systems so i would rather put this an opportunity in the sense like now we can we erase all these things what we have not learned what we need to learn much more from a different perspective altogether erasing is much more important unlearning many of the things which i have not learned is more important relearn new things is more important so what kind of an opportunity are we talking about if the situation 
is seen as some sort of a blockage. Let me give an example that anything that is blocked allows you to diversify yourself. Any action will have multiple reactions. Rather than going from the Newton's point of view, every action will have an opposite and equal reaction. No, I would negate it and come out with a new perspective saying that in the earlier videos I have given a different perspective. I would give a new perspective here again by saying that every action has multiple reactions, not the same and opposite reaction. Forget about equality. Equal reaction will never come. And then it multiplies in different actions. So action has a reaction which multiplies in different directions. Now this is a law of nature. Now why do we need to always think that the physical theories that has come from the West or Europe or something like that needs to be only understood from the same perspective rather than not looking at it in terms of how it multiplies and again gives more scope and energy in terms of those things. Look at any explosion. Does it explode in one direction or does it explode in the reverse direction? It explodes in all the directions. It could be 360 degrees or multiple. The bomb explodes like this. So idea or an action or a reaction would be in multidimensional rather than a single uni or reverse direction. So the whole perspective needs to be seen from a different angle. Having said that, how do we understand this particular reaction? A bomb could be seen or maybe some sort of a, a fusion or maybe global cosmic uh, explosion at some other place could be one example in terms of how it expands in a different way. Is it all? A simple example that anywhere you try to see, it multiplies and it diversifies. A river and a dam could be one example. A bomb explosion could be an example and various other examples could be seen like that. A cascading effect of a reaction in the family that the husband and again wife fight in the morning and again it will have a cascading effect in their own professional personal life later for 2-3 hours. There are several examples like that. Have you ever thought these kind of things need to be seen from a different perspective altogether? So that was one way of looking at in terms of how uh, scientific theories could be negated or probably uh, rebuilt or probably uh, you can give a different dimension altogether. More than that, do we have all the laws coming from Europe? Or do we have our own laws that we can be telling the whole world that these are the laws of nature in our own perspectives? Can we not add those kind of dimensions of concepts or theories or knowledge to various other aspects of life? So the first aspect I would like to put it in terms of anything that is closed opens up avenues from multi-dimensional perspectives. So don't try to see from in terms of Oh, there is an opportunity that is lost. Nothing is lost. In fact, an opportunity that is lost is some sort of a regain in terms of a different level altogether. An opportunity that is uh, some sort of a new opportunity, I would rather put it like. Is there a new opportunity? When the whole world started looking in terms of India as a population, I remember some of the stereotype statements in the textbooks which continues even today. India is born in debt, lives in debt and dies in debt. It's still a developing economy. Now when are we going to change this kind of statements in our own syllabus or in our talks? The farmer dies in debt and lives in debt and again. Same old stereotypes. I think much has been moved ahead in terms of for the last 70 years. Many a time it's because of the intervention, many a times it's because of some sort of uh, as a catalyst that has been induced into that particular system. Could be economic, social or political or maybe technology oriented or maybe legal dimension kind of a thing. But have you ever thought this kind of a multi-dimensional perspective is much more required to understand any phenomenon? that has all the disciplines come together to understand a particular event or a phenomenon. Most of the social science and again even science research has been after an event takes place some sort of a postmortem. Let's do that. Everybody starts studying only the impact of X, Y, Z 
same is the case now it's happening impact of xyz now why are we giving so much of importance to that kind of over creation of material and data and again documentation is so much so is happening on a particular single event and again tomorrow probably a month later and then again the, the things become normal obviously it becomes so easy that uh, people would forget but again still the impact would be more in our mind rather than in terms of reality the fear of some sort of an unfound impact is being much more analyzed now. when the whole world was looking at india as some sort of population explosion it's going to explode a negative dimension of looking at the population was seen from a different perspective now there will be a lot of hunger there will be a lot of death a lot of diseases and a lot of all those kind of negative aspects was being told sufficient but the same demographic dividend was also utilized in the name of the aging countries they started luring our potential population to get and do the jobs which were not so important not very creative but not very sustaining but again a different kind of job which an ordinary person could have done in their own economy and our society is contributing because those who know english can do their those kind of jobs online or offline kind of a thing either their database management or maybe in terms of knowledge sharing or maybe in terms of providing some sort of telephonic information confirmation are confirming some of those their necessities from here we call them and again try to see that they are living a better life if only we had concentrated in terms of how our economy could have been much more better if we had concentrated on the indian system could be much more developing the so called elite institutions where they produce the intelligent qualified professionals or potential bachelors if only they had served our country we would have been somewhere else everybody has a difficult day but again the same point is when you go there to a different country did you not face the same problem or different kind of problem but you still survived there you enjoyed there because other conditions were prevailing what have you given back to this country which has sufficiently given it to you now that question remains the same now having come back coming back, having said that let's come back to this particular population issue the population is now giving a different dividend in terms of this population is not only a population which can serve other countries it should serve our own country and our own people who could be aging or young youngsters whatever it may be the same population which was here though it was working somewhere else was also seen as a very good potential customer base a workforce and also a consumer force filter and again some of the supposed to be elites were pulled out and again they were put into different system to manage our own system and again they are the elite of the corporate sectors and again they try to see in terms of how those companies get the consumers here so the elite of these institutions are the elites of our system and again they are only trying to see in terms of how money and resources still continues to go to different people. look at the irony of it if only we had a different vision if only we had some sort of a different dimension now also it's not too late stop looking outside start looking inside it could be nation it could be society it could be your own institution it could be your own self or it could be your own you know soul kind of thing then address it in different perspective altogether we have much more larger opportunity to enrich ourselves cater to our needs ourselves than catering to someone else i'm not trying to be selfish but i am trying to be realistic let us take care of ourselves first and then again think of others so we have a diverse demographic dividend which should be encouraged here look at the large space available for agricultural produce how much of it is being used how much of it is being mapped 
how much of it is distributed how much of it is being given space to some places are over exploited some places are under exploited and there are some places which are being not at all even visible in terms of the nature earth is not being properly understood the whole mechanism is being reverted in a different direction that it is disturbing every now and then so indian economy needs a different approach altogether when we try to understand economy not only from the perspective of economic dimension but economy as a whole system or economy as an integrated system now we need to see this particular economy not as a product but as a continuous process when you don't see it as a product and when it is try to see it as a continuous process the process needs to be enriched continuously so economy is some sort of a system which is also connected with other systems with the larger system and again there are subsystems now those subsystems needs to be enriched at the same time if economy is seen in terms of the workforce obviously the where is the workforce coming from it is coming from the family now has the family being taken care of in terms of addressing the economy like various other institutions needs to be understood from a perspective of how a family is an important element of an economy if you try to understand from any other perspective sorry if in case you people have been expecting some sort of foreign theories to be told to you people some sort of books and again references to be given to you people i would be the last person to do that because i don't want to cite and give credits to the people who are a contextual rather there are several books and several ideas which are much more here and then if only try to recontextualize yourself you have better thoughts than to quote people the moment i quote people obviously you start getting reference and again citations increases second thing is obviously the credit goes there and begins the ideas doesn't exist here that's what the impression comes and again you don't think in the way you need to think you start thinking in the way the others have think or thought already and again you only go in that direction rather than going in multiple direction generate ideas for yourself and again start documenting it and once you document it and then publish it and then when you publish it obviously you need get a better ideas so multiply your ideas rather than multiply somebody else ideas there is one way of looking at it you can always improve the ideas of others by criticizing or contributing your constructive criticism and also by improvising it this is synthesis and also making it much more a synthesis kind of a thing but has its synthesis taken place from this origin point of view or only one particular other point of view rethink on those lines so i would not be giving any uh, new theories or probably western uh, thoughts or maybe ideas or uh, phrases kind of a thing i am trying to induce this kind of concept that you are also more creative and your system needs to be energized and your system needs to be needing your support rather than somebody else knowledge system support let us experiment we have not done any experiment at all we have only implemented those models which were either experimented or discarded there and again we have been using it whether it could be a product service management system administration whatever it could be if only we had evolved our own mechanisms we could have been a model to other world but all over textbooks are such a way all over syllabuses are such a way that we need to by heart and reproduce the same thing stop reproducing stop reproducing produce rather than reproduce even if you reproduce produce reproduce yours rather than somebody else i would put it that way there is so much of creativity in you but only thing is you need to be told that how to create we never been told how to create ideas have to be generated from your own self looking from your own surrounding aspects so have we ever tried to understand in terms of how our indian economy could be much more better and again vibrant in terms of understanding our uh, larger indian society i was talking family as one particular aspect so if you have family how much time do we spend in terms of the family if we have 24 hours of time in a day bar 7 days in a week bar 365 days in a year and then it goes on so how many years we are alive so how much time do we spend in terms of our own self with our family and then the workforce 
what is your support system family should be given much more care much more attention in the name of economy in the name of race in the career in the name of producing more in terms of the monetary aspects we reduce our family time we reduce our personal time this body this soul and again this energy system needs its own time to regenerate to recoup to come back again with the same energy so keeping those aspects in mind we can only divide as it's being done by 8 hours of work and 8 hours of uh, sleep and again 8 hours of the social life before going to bed and after coming out of the bed before going to the office and again after coming out of office. these two gaps or given as some sort of personal time where the family has to adjust the relationship has to adjust and various other things look at from the perspective of other institutions of society family marriage and kinship the importance of these kind of things has reduced as a result the stress level has increased though we may give the impression that there is a better communication system now which says that we can talk better see each other across the screen not only across the screen multiple screens talk to many people at the same time what are the impediments can i share your feelings maybe the moment i cry obviously the tears that i drop out of my eyes would be visible and again people get connected emotionally and the laughter is also connected what is still missing is what is out of the distance the proximity what brings you the invisible energy forces are missing the kind of joy and the laughter and again the emotional bondage that were there when you are physically present around your own people that is missing remember your own childhood days when you had been to your own grandparents house or native place where you have spent enough good times have you spent such kind of good times now now that is the aura meeting the spiritual meeting or the spirits or the souls meeting meeting each other coming close to each other and that connectivity is missing as a result obviously the stress level has increased and again the approach has moved from this particular thing to monetary and again various other dimensions so what exactly are we trying to earn more when we earn more we want to possess more when we possess more obviously what do you do try to tell your own people see i bought a new car when nobody wants to respond to your whatsapp image of about you buying a new car you start feeling what we have some sort of a tendency to tell everything and go beyond our expectation that everybody will be happy the moment we show our progress the real life is different and the social media is different make your family happy not in terms of monetary but in real sense in terms of happiness the time that is spent is more happiness the physical proximity with your own family members and again sharing your thoughts and other things are much more important than the physical materialistic possessions they have a life a shelf life and that ends the interest rate has come down significantly probably we used to have 10 or 20 or 30 probably uh, toys in our childhood days and our uh, sustainability period of that particular enjoyment of that particular one particular toy was much longer and we used to play for months together till the next toy comes now that particular period is only 5 minutes the kid only sees that new toy and again tries to say enjoy look all the things oh that's it now next toy what next what next so the more of creation of all these things again has brought down in terms of our creativity but only trying to observe what other things have so our self is going away so in that sense family marriage and then the kinship becomes much more important the religion education legal systems and again economy obviously revolves everything around that particular system please strengthen that particular family marriage and kinship and then the whole system is much more strengthened when the happiness is much more there obviously the whole thing can be seen from a different perspective happiness index happiness quotient 
that is more important you are more happy in your own family than in somebody else unless you have a disturbed life for various personal reasons or not any other reasons so indian economy in that sense is much more big a larger opportunity is there to relook at our own demographic dividend the space that we have the energy level that we have and again the kind of potential that we still can see it for 100 years or 200 years or 300 years we don't need to fight we need to slow down produce in such a way that in happiness we can produce more produce more happiness i would rather put it in a different manner altogether have we try to reach the unreached it could be hunger it could be some sort of happiness or it could be in terms of trust or it could be in terms of soothingness of patting on the people's back have we touched the souls of others in our own actions that is more required here because in the name of career in the name of growth or in the name of money making in the name of mad race in all the sectors the element of connectivity is missing the element of spirituality is missing the element of some sort of a connective between different souls is missing the network is missing the network is much more in terms of how best the benefits can be seen we don't try to see the happiness in what we have but we try to see the happiness in what others have and again when i do i possess that so an opportunity for indian economy could be seen from much more self reliant perspective one could be oh, one can understand that this swadeshi movement could also be readdressed now but at the same time much more things could be understood from an angle where uh, things have not been said and again things have not been analyzed and visualized from the perspective of how our own products are equally important or probably rather more important than others i think self reliance is the best method it could be at the local level or at the regional level or it could be the provincial level or maybe Uh, state level or even at the national level we need to be self reliant first and again try to give others there are many areas where we have become self reliant but at the same time we need to grow faster the kind of potential that we have and again have we used it to the optimum level or even if it is in terms of reducing it to some sort of one third of our lifetime have we ever used the potential of the people who are really capable of doing many things have we ever encash their uh, abilities and again their aspects of life kind of so we need to trust ourselves and again make different dimensions so when i try to say that indian economy needs to be seen from a holistic perspective giving much more importance to family marriage kinship and everything so family becomes a centric rather than the economy centric the family centric look at the whole family centric industry and then automatically everything changes the collectivity needs to be seen from a different perspective the movement of people rather than individualistic approach let's have the collective approach the collective approach could be even in terms of science even in terms of thought even in terms of our own uh, selfless actions to various other things or maybe in terms of our production process let it be family centric and again the sex kinship i would put it in terms of happiness centric or happiness quotient centric let us spread the happiness in that sense so industry needs to manufacture many things from that particular perspective economy can be seen not only in terms of just the institution or maybe the product that is produced but needs to be seen in terms of how the policies also are made in that direction how the programs are designed in that direction how the administration starts looking in that direction how the academia starts looking in that direction academy in the sense all this academicians are we the faculty members and other things have we contributed enough in terms of these kind of things that is exactly where people start expecting that what is your contribution except producing or probably reproducing the same thing is available in the textbooks and now it's available in the e format please keep it in mind that the students are so smart even before in coming to the class they would have read the kind of material that you want to deliver in the form of lecture they would expect what next they would even know 
where the commas and full stop and various other punctuations come. The smartness comes here. The intelligence comes here only in terms of providing some new ideas, new dimensions. It could be in the form of explanations or it could be in the form of examples or it could be in the form of criticisms, critique of ideas, allowing some sort of space to criticize and also allowing the space for them to be more creative. Creativity is much more important in the present day world because the creativity gives more space and more opportunities. I am saying this because when the doors are closed from other world perspective, other countries perspective, we need to produce many things which we have been habituated to. It could be food or products that we have been using or it could be technology that we have been using. Much more beyond that, there are many areas we have not even touched at all. I won't be saying which are those areas. The moment I say that, only we will start thinking in that direction. There are many areas which we have not touched at all. It could be past, present and future. Try to see in terms of what future could be expecting from you. From left, right and again from the center point of view or present, I can like to see in terms of what left has given and again what right has given. Maybe theory, maybe ideology, maybe perspectives. Doesn't matter. Up, down, in the center. But then what we are expecting basically is in terms of what others are expecting, can you give it to them? And what we need, can we take it from them? Or can we produce what we exactly base we need? Creativity is much more important here from the perspective of more creation from all dimensions. Creation need not be in terms of products alone, ideas. Now we need to travel from a different level altogether. Have we travelled inside? Have we travelled under the earth? Have we travelled above the sky? There is a lot of space available to learn have you ever traveled to our own local areas instead of going always to some other country in the name of traveling have you ever traveled and again try to see in terms of our neighborhood has so much of diversity our own states and provinces have so much of natural diversities animal kingdoms plant kingdoms you name it and then we have such a diversity Instead of moving around here and again enriching our own economy in that sense, we have tried to move abroad rather in the name of flying and again taking the cruise and various other things. Now we need to look in our own self. Many times our own life journey has taught us many things. If only we document it, then we can be more dimensional. Having said all those issues from a particular perspective in terms of uh, understanding in an economy. Now that the industry is understood from a perspective of four pillars like land, labor, capital, organization and now the market kind of a thing or the demand and supply and again simple mathematical equations and again numbers, quantification, now the qualification, quantifying and again qualitative dimensions of it. Much of all these things are again emotionally driven. The market goes up and again comes down. It's not just a number and again, it's not the rationality theory that's always prevails more than the prevailation in terms of we accept that particular theory as it's the reality. Social realities are much more farther than the other's realities and again, our market performs and again behaves in a much more different way than any other else. So we need to go beyond the profit and loss kind of a thing and again try to go beyond these kind of issues. I'm trying to see in terms of where others can also think beyond these issues. For an economy or from sort of a production system, only those four pillars and again another market kind of a thing provides some sort of a basic and minimal understanding. But the market is much more larger and again people are going beyond. So even in terms of the government, we try to understand them. Legislature, executive, judiciary and again the media as a fourth state of government. Is it all? Are we not governing ourselves? Can we not come up with a theory in terms of how the larger governments can be addressed? How systematically we have addressed ourselves? How unsystematically we have addressed ourselves? How systematically others we have seen have not governed themselves? And how unsystematically they have governed themselves? Who are happy and who are unhappy? 
the most systematic ones and the unsystematic ones the ones who are visible the one who are invincible not visible invisible who claim themselves that are invincible who are happy so there are many structures which questions and again the kind of stereotypes needs to be understood from a different angle or can we relook at all those issues i'll take a couple of examples to come out with the kind of questions that i'm raising now the halls of fame when you go to some sort of big halls you have some sort of all big dignitaries and again great contributors their photographs on the walls and again we see that this guy was functioning from this period to this period this guy was functioning from this period to this period there is a different time frame and different people there contributions and various things good we need to see the mount everest kanchanjunga these mountains are visible only when there is a plateau and only tip is mentioned the tip could go there because the platform was there and the reference is you are tall compared to you if only we reverse the whole scenario the triangular structure of any organization the top man is only visible not the rest this system is built on the base of this and not only this if only we turn this topples who is important here i'm not talking only from the perspective of subaltern kind of a thing or maybe any other dimensions look at the whole scenario from all multiple perspectives obviously which is greater is made greater instead of having this kind of a structure why can't we have a reverse triangular kind of a thing which rolls as time because it falls either this way or that way so it makes another triangular falling into a different level or this way it goes to a different level and again this becomes another triangular kind of a thing can we make a different a circular kind of a thing which revolves and again it goes on and that's what the nature says everything goes up has to come down fine why can't we make it a square kind of a structure where everything can be seen from a particular perspective the whole base is also the same with the replica at the top the top is the basis everything is same it could be salary system it could be functional system or it could be action system it could be thing but only if we try to see in terms of the orders that comes from the top and again the suggestions and that particular perspective the management kind of a kind of perspective everything has a kind of a triangular dimension equals is a different dimension unequal is a different dimension bubbling kind of a thing is a different dimension always fluid t makes a different dimension so a stability itself is a concept which is unrealistic as some sort of a myth now that we need to understand that these kind of issues needs to be understood so an opportunity which can be seen in terms of how the halls of fame or the walls with all the famous people needs to be relooked at they are famous because of the other people who made them famous who sacrificed for their famous it could be their family it could be their personal life or it could be their social life or it could be their institutional life or it could be their professional life name it and then where are their names visible sometimes the spouse name is mentioned here and there much of the sacrifice come from there if only there is a peace in the family spouse is cooperative obviously your growth is successful if that is disturbed everything gets disturbed now coming to the different different dimensions of this particular indian industry or probably an economy which i am trying to see it from the whole argument i am trying to build in terms of it's an opportunity to try to see it one is uh, the family as an important thing trust kind of a thing or maybe trying to build in terms of emotional dimensions happiness quotients an opportunity we try to see in terms of our own self going much more deeper into our own selves both in terms of time space at the same time the spiritual dimensions invisible dimensions social dimensions of economy the social dimensions of our political system or market or nation is much more long lasting rather than the monetary aspect of it 
money comes and goes somebody can even snatch it away the happiness doesn't come and go it stays there even in terms of memories and also in terms of your own self everything stays there can we not see it from an eternal perspective in terms of how trust is needs to be built in the form of any system how honesty needs to be built much of the changes now if you can see it as an opportunity is the kind of trust was expected from the other side that is gone the honesty that was expected in the form of system or maybe some sort of an understanding or maybe some sort of a contract that is gone and that has given us some sort of an opportunity now should we not build on those kind of value systems that are much more important rather than looking it from some sort of a contractual paper based legal unethical base of looking at it more than all those things the kind of population that is getting affected over a period of time in the present scenario should we not look it from the humanitarian perspective look at the way people are dying like just like a non entity the number keeps growing the number is not even counted when we try to kill the poultry cattle or poultry farms or birds kind of thing so these are all a different people who were cannot be equated but again it hurts when you try to see it and again try to equate it humanitarian perspective is much more important which is the backbone of indian economy the indian industry should try to see not in terms of exploitation or the way kind of explanation is being made that industry has only two elements that is the management and again the working class and the working class is always under suppression and the working class is always under stress and that needs to be let us try to rephrase the whole thing every man is under stress every human being is under stress because of the family because of the kind of pressures and kind of expectations if only these kind of resources are redistributed in different level from a different policy perspective altogether obviously the happiness and again the quotient of various types of damage is that i am speaking about could be readjusted again the level of everything can go up it's a people centric people need to be understood put the man center and again try to revolve everything around let everything fall to his place let it be migration let it be labor class let it be some sort of resource management or it could be in terms of people's movement let people be benefited let's try to see it from that particular aspect the whole idea of understanding the market has always been to understand a product and again how it can be produced the productivity level more production and the end it has to reach a customer and again the customer has to always give back in terms of monetary kind of a thing so this cycle has made us that the production and again the end product is only the consumer that consumes and again the happiness production needs to be understood from a different end altogether the life of every product that we are also using has come down look at the number of mobiles that we have probably every 2 years or probably every 6 months people are changing their mobiles the importance of the life of their particular mobile instrument itself needs to be understood from a different angle if that is to be understood the number of shirts number of pants number of dresses that we have the number of sarees that we have the numbers have increased the life of that particular thing has decreased it is not the life of that particular product but again the attachment to that particular product has increased the emotional bondage has decreased the need to have more has become more so we have produced more than what we require so automatically there is some sort of a different cascading effect of all those things if only reduce all those things and again try to see happiness at a different level then we can raise the bar of happiness at different dimension altogether so our economy needs to be seeing more of happiness more of production the present scenario could also provide a different mechanism of which have developed some sort of a different model altogether most of the industries are cutting on down the bottom when it comes to the economic crisis rather than cutting the bottom cut the top a slice it so much that everybody gets the same cut it doesn't happen that way the top is protecting itself and again trying to cut down on the bottom but in reality what they don't understand is the more the bottom they cut 
their top gets cut significantly at a large scale but if only they cut the top significantly at the initial stage the bottom remaining the same obviously their process of expanded if this base is cut and it starts becoming like this it cannot sustain itself and again it just tumbles either this way or this way because it's shaking it's taller kind of a thing this becomes more stable the moment this becomes like this obviously this becomes more shaky nobody would understand this many industries have experimented by cutting down the down strata the bottom strata that stratum needs to be addressed first rather than the top top could sustain not the bottom could sustain there are various dimensions of the feelings and again the sufferings and other things that needs to be seen from a different angle now have you ever tried to see in terms of how satisfied are we in terms of whatever we are doing the satisfaction level needs to be understood from perspective of what kind of a sense of fulfillment is there where do we stop i'm not trying to see in terms of we need to become sadhus or sanyasis kind of a thing of course we are all human beings and we have our own tastes and other things but have we raised unnecessarily the bar to an unreachable level if one person has gone to that level how many of us can only go to that level that is what is expectation in that process how many resources have to be lost now that needs to be seen in terms of the sense of fulfillment needs to be understood now by saying all these kind of philosophical dimensions what is it new you are saying sir or anything new that i have added or anything uh, new perspectives that i have given as college teachers from various disciplines what do we need to learn from you now probably this kind of question would be arising from your own mind that you have not given us any new theory or the theory that we did not know and you and you are providing us that kind of a theory or a concept which you did not know and you are bringing that kind of concept kind of a thing the learning has to be done from a different angle one from remodeling yourself understanding yourself i'll raise couple of questions and again stop in the present scenario the central government and again state governments have announced many packages administration what whatever resources that they had and again with the intelligence that they could manage they have stretched instead of giving it one shot but given over a period of time so that the pressure of this calamity could be absorbed over a period of time so there is a shock absorber the government has given some sort of a shock absorber mechanisms so for one period that is could be one month two months three months four months five months six months one year kind of a thing the kind of gestation period of suffering and also some sort of the shock and also kind of the loss that has been made that kind of a suffering has been managed by providing various soaps could be tax it could be loan or it could be soft uh, soft corner kind of various activities towards stringent rules and regulations so government has done sufficiently significantly i would clap them what have you done as teachers have you added value to the system as teachers have you brought any new idea so that it could help the administration that you start thinking in this direction and then it will add value to that have you written significantly to the newspapers or various other media so that the administrators take note of it and then bring out with this kind of ideas have you come out with any model which they look for when there is a need for some sort of a model they also google around it and then the google always takes them to europe or america kind of a thing and borrow them put the india behind that particular concept and say indian model do we need to do that how ironical it looks have you contributed significantly to the present situation maybe you would have given some sort of your portion of your salary for the fund prime minister chief minister kind of a fund beyond that has there been any creative contribution to the society have you gone and again try to mix up with different discipline people to come out with different ideas have you ever ideated yourself that your idea mixed up with different people allowing it to nurture and again allowing it to blow it at different level and again allowing it to reach the logical end of it we need go and again try to socialize in the name of socialization please to allow your ideas to come up in the mind try to solve your own local problems address those issues which have not been addressed reach the places which have not been reached 
it could be spiritual it could be real time it could be in terms of the down trodden can you raise them to the mainstream or can you raise them to the level of their potential or can you give them opportunities that they need have you been an helping hand that's the question i'm asking you now today the faculty development program your faculty is not in terms of the discipline your faculty is your brain has it been developed or it's only reproducing and reciting the mantras that has been told to us have you created a mantra have you created a tantra not ku tantra the knowledge idea theories and various other things are the mantras which i am trying to explain needs to be created by you from your own local requirements breathe the air that is available to you eat the food that is available to your own vicinity make the people happy who are available or in a ground to you and again try to learn from them and again give back the learning to them and that's the reality produce from them and again give back the same the same thing that is the reality and then try to make them move around that is the reality solve their problems takes care of 100 things many times we expect the government to do government to do what should the government do have you ever made a single statement this has to be done by government one single statement which can be feasible workable testable what is your contribution sitting inside the four walls and again delivering the lecture for the students which is already available in the different forms of literature books and e contents what is your creativity you are the faculty members or the workforce of the institutions of higher learning what is the height that you have reached in terms of learning or what is it the students that who are trying to learn from you that the level is raised every time when they come to you have you made them feel that their level has increased having come here except they have learned couple of more papers or concepts has it allowed to germinate more newness in them the moment they go out of the class or out of the course do they feel the sense of fulfillment that yes i had sumptuous meal of thought or for the tummy have you ever come together to discuss all those issues which have never been discussed sensitive issues undiscussed untold histories have you made ever a local man a hero in your own vicinity the man who has struggled to live for 60 years or 100 years in your own village or maybe some around surrounding places and never mentioned by anybody anywhere else have you given the credit of that particular thing to the particular person have you ever tried to see things which has not been seen by others so what is your contribution start working in that direction that you need to feel the sense of fulfillment and make others who are depending upon you to feel the sense of fulfillment every day every week every month and again every course that they complete with you let there be happiness radiating outside when you are working in an institution not the noise that comes out of the particular institution in the form of loud speakers music and other things one in once in a while it's fine but the radiation of your knowledge should come in such a way that it should be visible to the whole world is it not possible don't be under the impression that only universities have to do or probably some sort of established universities abroad and various other things only can do you are equally capable and again more capable than doing others this is sufficient to do anything god the almighty has given enough material here rather than to be seen from outside else and it's this trust that you can come out with flying colors i didn't want to come out with new concepts or new theories which are much more invisible to many people like in i come and give it to you there are libraries where access is not allowed that is denied you can have access now the material which was not given to people now it's allowed now 
that methodology is already available now new creative methods needs to be given because now what is not available now it's available now what is now need to be created is what was not created can you not create so the faculty development program is only concentrating not only individual development but also collective development so i would rather put it as an institutional development program and also a collective program which develops the whole institution the moment you as a collectivity is developed automatically your surroundings gets developed when the surrounding gets developed automatically the society develops when the society develops the nation gets developed produce more produce more thoughts produce more creative dimensions of it and i can look from all dimensions allow people to look it from all angles and that gives you more space more sense of fulfillment more happiness and that is what is required by the india as a nation and also faculty members of the society that's what the society is expecting me we have never been told to see in terms of how to build ideas that is what is to be done now the moment if i say in terms of how creativity has to be seen from a single subject oriented point of view we'll start seeing from that angle see the marathon race from all the disciplines perspective you can see all other dimensions from a different perspective altogether i would rather put it in terms of build the local first and then think of the global conquer the local area first and then conquer others first conquer yourself so institutional building is more important in the form of pressure groups or it could be in the form of different civil societies or maybe collective groups or it can be in terms of different collective mechanisms which can be worked out rather than thinking as an individual think from a multiple dimensions perspective wide varieties of actions and again various other perspectives are possible but this is what is your faculty needs to be developed not the theories that are available in different forms needs to be developed i'll stop here thank you very much for listening to me the queries and other things could also be posted i'll get back to you in different forms thank you very much namaskar